Hi kids! This is Teacher May, your teacher for today. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the latest videos. Before we start our new lesson, let's have a short review. Activity 1, Wonders of Nature. Instructions, share your thoughts on the pictures that I will show you. Tell me, what do you see? Once you've all had a chance to share your thoughts, I'm going to show you the pictures again. This time, I want you to add another line to your responses. Think about this. What do you see now? What messages do you think nature is sharing with us? Activity 2, find my other half. Instructions, I'm going to give each of you a cutout that is split in half. You'll each get one half. While you're looking for your other half, we'll play a song. Feel free to sing along as you search. Once you find your partner, stay together as a pair. How did you find the activity? How did you find your other half? Explain. Activity 3, connect the dots. Material, straight edge or ruler. Instructions, connect the points using a straight line. Use your ruler. After connecting the points and drawing the line, what do you notice with the figures? Suppose I cut the figure along the line we have drawn, what will happen? Explain. Let us unlock your vocabulary. After you all have given ample time to complete activities 1 to 3, We'll dive into some new math concepts together. Symmetry means that when figures are divided in half, one shape is identical to the other shape, that is, a mirror image of the other. If a figure does not have symmetry, we say that the figure is asymmetrical. A symmetrical figure is a figure that can be divided into two identical figures that exactly match. A line of symmetry is a line that divides a symmetrical figure into two identical figures. Symmetry Now that you've finished activities 1 to 3, let's explore the ideas of symmetry, symmetrical figures, and lines of symmetry a bit more. 
Remember, some symmetrical figures can have more than just one line of symmetry. They can actually have multiple lines. Example number one, draw the line of symmetry on the figure at the right. Solution, we see that a line of symmetry can be either vertical or horizontal, meaning there are two possibilities. Example number two, how many lines of symmetry can you draw on the figure at the right? Solution, example number two is a great illustration of a single symmetrical figure that has multiple lines of symmetry. Example number three, which of the following figures shows symmetry? Symmetry. Solution, the symmetrical figures are A and C, while B is asymmetrical. Example number four, draw the other half of the figure with respect to the line of symmetry. Solution, you'll have the chance to complete a figure that is symmetric with respect to a line. Example number five, draw the mirror image with respect to the line of symmetry. Solution, you'll get to draw the image of an object after applying reflection across a line, which is also known as the line of symmetry. Example number six, glide reflection. We have left foot and right foot. We'll explore the idea of glide reflection. To help you understand glide reflection better, I'll demonstrate the basic concept of slide, glide, then reflect visually. Step 1. Move the object by sliding. Step 2. After sliding, draw the mirror image or reflection with respect to the line of symmetry. Let's have an activity. Letter A, Instructions. Tell if the broken line in each figure is a line of symmetry. Write LS if yes and write NLS if not. Letter B Instructions Which of the following are symmetrical figures? Write SF if symmetrical figure and write ASF if asymmetrical figure. If a symmetrical figure, draw a line of symmetry. 